I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today I'm going to take you for a tour of a hip and history filled neighborhood here in New York City called the Lower East Side. This is the second half of our series on the Lower East Side. If you haven't yet watched the first half, you can find it on our YouTube channel. As you can deduce from its name, this neighborhood is located in the southeastern part of Manhattan. The Lower East Side is located between Houston Street to the north, the East River on the east, Canal Street to the south, and Bowery to the west. Keep in mind that the boundaries of this neighborhood are not exactly defined because the area is in constant change and renewal. It's difficult to tell exactly where the Lower East Side ends and where the adjacent neighborhoods start. The Lower East Side, also called LES by the locals, is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Manhattan. In the past, it has been predominantly occupied by working class immigrants who settled here in the many tenement buildings. It's a culturally diverse area formed by many ethnic groups from around the world who have been immigrating to New York over the centuries. Orchard Street used to be full of affordable and wholesale clothing stores. The street was even named Bargain District. However, in the past 10 years, the cheap stores have closed down to leave space to new designer shops, galleries, and trendy restaurants and bars. The Bargain District continues to live on along Delancey Street, but in a smaller form. If it's nightlife you seek, the Lower East Side is an excellent choice. It's known for its many bars, lounges, and clubs that will keep you moving all night. Check out the Mercury Lounge on Houston Street where you can catch some fun rock bands almost every night. Arlene's Grocery on Stanton Street is a great place to find live music every night of the week. If you're looking to dance to the rhythms of various world beats, the Sapphire Lounge on Eldridge Street is the place for you. New York Habitat has apartments all over the Lower East Side. People from all over the world come here because it's a lively area day and night. If you want to feel at home and save money, head on over to our website at nyhabitat.com and choose your favorite vacation rental. It's definitely cheaper than a hotel and you'll get more for your money. You'll have more space and you'll be able to book a furnished apartment with a fully equipped kitchen so you can cook instead of going out to restaurants for each meal. If you prefer to relax or play some sports, take a stroll along the East River Promenade. You'll find baseball fields, soccer fields, tennis courts, even an amphitheater for public performances. You can also enjoy the view of Brooklyn across the East River, or cross the Williamsburg Bridge and reach Brooklyn on the other side. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video tour of the Lower East Side. There are tons of attractions to see in this area, and it's an easy walk to some of New York's funnest neighborhoods. You've got the East Village, Chinatown, Soho, Financial District, tons of things to do and see. If you know of any fun things that we missed in this video, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to visit our website at nyhabitat.com where you'll find furnished apartments, vacation rentals, and even rooms to rent in apartment shares in the Lower East Side, all over Manhattan, and across the river in Brooklyn and Queens. What better way to spend your next trip to the Big Apple? I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. We hope to see you soon in the city that never sleeps.